salam good morning all students myself kunda jayeshwinde from bushala mar school mps school mulam first of all we are going to say a prayer all students are going to join your hands close your eyes sit straight all of you all students sit straight join your hands all of you yes students sit straight join your hands yes so we are going to say a morning prayer and after that we are going to start with our uh, lecture okay so dear god say all of you dear god in your uh, your strong hands i place my life today choosing to depend you the light and to guide my way okay rub your palms like this all students rub your palms like this yes all students are going to do this place it on your face like this yes very good again do one time see okay? i want all students to do it okay rub it rub it like this Yes. Place it on your face like this. Yes. Very good. Okay. Now we are, we shall start with our class. Okay. Now all the students are going to sit straight. Sit straight means what? Sit straight properly. Okay. Okay. Today is our topic is general science subject. In that we have seen. in the last lecture about nutrition and diet can any one of the student tell me what is nutrition what is diet you have learned na can any student tell me any one student do you know about nutrition and diet you have done with the last lecture on 21st of this month you know what is nutrition what is diet you can show your thumb like this yes you can show your thumb if you know okay i'll tell you what is nutrition okay who is going to say what is nutrition and diet yes children see for our body we need proper diet okay we have to eat proper food which is very much important for our food our health okay so we eat proper food we drink milk we drink water okay yes? we all do we all do these things okay yes? so for our health we need nutrition and diet so proper diet should be maintained for a particular day okay so for what purpose we are using this diet we are using this diet for our system for our body system okay our body system should be proper okay we will not have we will not eat anything uh, anything like which will harm our health okay if we are eating anything harmless so what will happen our digestive system will become what will become to our digestive system it will harm our digestive system okay so today our topic is about our skeletal system okay and our skin see each and every part of our body consists of different bones okay we are having different bones in our body can you see see take your hand all of you like this take your hand like this show it in the camera show it in the camera so i'll explain you okay see each and every finger see touch your finger like this each and every finger of your hand is having a bone do you have bone see check it out check it out you having bone yes or no see ten fingers are there okay each and every hand of your finger is having a bone okay see here also you have bone can you check check all the students check see 
see here also you have bone here also you have bone yes or no yeah see touch your head like this touch your head like this can you see some bones are there okay inside you cannot touch okay outside you can touch like this see touch it like this see here also see here see can you see touch it touch it so you can understand can you touch see all students i want all students to touch like this okay see your nose you are having a bone also here also yes or no so in our human body we are having 206 bones how many bones 206 bones okay can you count each and every bone in our body can we count that but some or the other person has counted that bone and we have understood that we are having 206 bones in the human body okay now see when we have bones in our body we have our skin also skin see this is the skin see can you see this is the skin all children listen carefully yes so we are going to learn about the body bone and the skeletal system okay now what is skeletal system the body cavity which protects our body is called as the skeletal system okay understood all of you can you understand what i am saying give your thumb like this can you hear me properly okay yes so now each and body each and every body organ of the human body functions different way okay now body functions our head functions are different our hand functions are different okay each and every organ internal organs and external organs what do they do they give different functions okay when you listen from where do you listen you listen from your ear okay when you speak you speak from your mouth okay when you see you see from your eyes okay when you hear it what do you do when you hear it when you see it what do you do you capture it in, in your mind this is the mind okay what is this this is the head and this is the mind okay understood all of you now what children listen all of you the body function is in different way okay now our internal organs okay our stomach stomach what happens in the stomach what do you do in the stomach you eat your food it goes to your cord okay intestine it goes in the intestine like this okay and the digestive system is being produced okay in the stomach you all know do you all know what is the digestive system have you anyone seen what is the digestive system yes children do you know what is the digestive system can anyone tell me what is the digestive system what is the body part anyone you have seen the skeletal system yes children yes ritu can you tell me what is the digestive system means kidney kidney uh, no small intestine and intestine yes 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 so what these all things do it makes our food digest okay it what we eat in our body it goes in the stomach and it makes it digest okay so i will be showing you a presentation in that we can see the different parts of our body and what is the skeletal system okay today the part of this uh, period is of about skeletal system okay you to yourself all of you students
Yes. See, children, this is a presentation, short presentation, which I will be showing you today. Uh, okay. So, my name is Kunda Jayesh Bende. I am from Goshala Road School. See, this is our topic for today skeletal system and the skin. Okay. What we will be understanding today, you are going to understand about the human skeletal system. First of all, human body and the skeletal system of the body, which we are going to understand today by seeing this picture. Okay. Students, you are going to tell me which organ system do you see in the figure alongside. See, there are three organ systems, right? See, first one is the digestive system. See, children, this is the human digestive system. This is a human uh, body structure. See, first one, you can see the mouth, right? And then the cord is there. That is called as oesophagus. It is called as oesophagus. And after that, down there you can see liver. Then you can see stomach. See, children, what you do, the what the digestive system is there. Mouth, you eat the food from the mouth. See, in red color, you can see, you eat the food in our mouth. It goes from the oesophagus to the stomach. Okay. Now, from the stomach, it goes to the large intestine. You can see the large intestine and the small intestine. Okay. This is what is the digestive system. Right. Now, coming to the next part of the body, that is a muscular system. See, each and every bone of our body has a muscle. Okay. Can you understand muscles? So these are the muscular system. See each and every. Can you see? Okay, I'll zoom it out. Okay? See. See in the muscular system, you can see the muscles, each and every muscles of our human body. The next picture is about the skeleton. Okay. It is the body cavity. Right? You can see the skeleton of our human body. Okay. In Hindi, you can say it as Kankal, okay? So, to be very easy for you, okay? You Do you all understood this? Okay? Now, see children, the function of the organ and the body cavity. In this chart, we can understand about the name of the organ and which each and every organ, what functions us, okay? And what is the body cavity of the function? First, we are going to understand about heart. What is the use of heart? Okay. The use of heart is for pumping the blood in our body. Our heart is in the left hand side of our chest. Okay. See the body cavity you can see it is the chest. Okay. What does the heart do? Each and every heartbeat it pumps the blood and pure and impure blood is being pumped from the heart. Okay. Now, after that, we have lungs. Below the heart, we have lungs. Lungs function is to work for the respiration and breathing system. The body function, what we are respiring, what we are respiring, and which we are inhaling and exhaling. That part is called as the lungs. Okay? It is the chest body cavity. Okay? Then we are having two intestines, large intestine and the small intestine. Okay? What is the use of large intestine and small intestine? It is the use for digestion and absorption of nutrition. So before that, so the I asked you what is about nutrition and diet children. Okay. So it is in the body cavity of abdomen, right? Then we are having brain. The most important part of our body is for controlling the body. Okay, the body cavity is called as the skull. The head part of the body, body, when it comes to the skeletal system, that is called as the skull. Okay, understood of all of you, what is the name of the organ, what functions the organ is doing and what is the body cavity. Right, once again I will explain to you, heart is for blood pumping, which is in the chest. Lungs is for respiration and breathing. Okay. Intestine, we have two intestines in the human body. We have large intestine and the 
small intestine what is the use of that what function does the intestine do the intestine functions about digestion and absorption of nutrition what the food we are eating that it is digested in our body okay then the most important is our brain to control our body is the main part of the our brain okay to control each and every part of our body okay now see can you see the page organ system and the human skeleton the various organs are placed within the body cavity the human skeleton is a protective shell of all internal organs see what is the use of human skeleton why, why what is a uh, human skeleton it is the protective shell shell means what it is a covering for the internal organs okay now see you can see in this okay see children you can see the skull is the head part then we are having the parieto and that is called as temporal that is a fixed joint okay then we are having wall and socket which is a joint shoulder then we are having the neck part that is called as the vertebra okay below that you have hand part that is called as humerus then up coming to the left hand side we have sternum then you have rib okay the chest part is called as the rib okay then below down coming to the stomach part you have pelvis then we have radius in the hand part then you have ulna okay coming to the leg part femur hinge joint okay hinge joint is what the knee part okay so you can see many bones are there in the in this picture this skeleton in this skeleton you can see many bone parts okay these all bone parts are called as a uh, human skeletal system okay then leg part below the uh, knee we have tibia and fibula so these are what the skeletal system okay now the very important part children fracture see when you play in the garden when you go for playing you fall down okay when you fall down what happens sometimes you fall down very hardly what happens that time you have a fracture in the bone many a times you need to plaster your leg or a hand where you have a plaster okay do you all know what is fracture children yes fracture do you all know can anyone tell me when you go for playing जो भी कोई फ्रैक्चर होता है उसके बोन में क्रैक पड़ जाता है या उसके बोन में लग जाता yes, है यस यस वेरी गुड सो दैट व्हेन यू रन व्हेन यू रन एंड फॉल डाउन ओके व्हेन यू प्ले गो फॉर प्लेइंग व्हेन यू फॉल फ्रॉम अप सेट एनी एनी पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी गेट ब्रोकन ओके क्रैक द गर्ल सेड वेरी नाइसली व्हेन यू गेट अ क्रैक इन आवर बोन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ फ्रैक्चर सो व्हेन वी गो टू द डॉक्टर व्हाट डॉक्टर गिव्स अस doctor tell please check or properly and what he says he check properly and give us the proper medicines and tell us whether it's a fracture or we should have plaster on that okay so that is called as fracture so what is the definition of fracture a fracture in a bone causes severe and unbearable pain and the part with the broken broken bone swells immediately what happens sometimes when you get a fracture when you fall down from or uh, some place or by playing what happens sometimes we take home medicine okay but before uh, after the next day what happens to the part of the broken uh, leg or hand it becomes swelling okay swelling it comes okay understood so that is called as fracture see in this picture you can see the boy has fallen down what has been done it is the fracture part okay so what can you see in this picture the boy is falling down and what happens to see in the knee part see you can see a fracture has been done for the boy okay see your friend meets with an accident and a bone of his leg is fractured how will you help him who will tell me how will you help him see the boy your friend has been 
met with an accident okay a bone of his leg is been fractured what you will do while playing yes can anyone tell me when you are playing all together with your friends and one one of your friend has been a a accident okay and sure hmm what do we do we give the answer give the answer or unmute yourself child what do we do when you in hospital yes you will take your friend to the hospital you will rush my friend you will rush your friend to the hospital and you will get him checked properly with the doctor and the doctor will take him make him a uh, medicine give him medicine or he will say as yes, uh, you have to plaster or his leg or it is a normal fracture or it is a normal accident okay so in this picture you can see see a plaster what is a plaster see a white cement like uh, see can you see can you see the lady she full with plaster right so it's a white cement part okay and the white uh, cloth is been uh, wrapped to the cement part okay that is called as a plaster see in this picture you will see a skeleton system see can you see the skeleton what does the skeleton do yes the system which gives a definite shape to the body provide support and protect the delicate organs inside the body it is called as a skeleton system i'll read once again the system which gives a definite shape to the body provides support and protects the delicate organs inside the body is the skeletal system what does this skeletal system does the skeletal system gives a definite shape to the body see without the skeletal system our body cannot support okay it protects the organs inside the body which are the organs inside our body now the very important part how many bones are there i have told you in the starting how many bones are there there are how many bones in the human body yes children there are 206 human bones in the body 206 human bones in the body now you are going to understand about so i okay okay see bones of our body are classified into four types that we are going to see in the further uh, part okay bones are very hard they are not flexible see bones touch your bones of your hands i have told you touch your bones of your hands can you see the bones are loose like no the bones are hard it is tough okay they are not flexible right bones are composed of two main constituents bone cells are biotic while calcium carbonate calcium phosphate minerals and salt are the abiotic constituents of bones okay calcium imparts strength to the bones okay what calcium does we need to see what is the use of calcium by what thing do you get calcium in our body when you eat, drink milk okay when you drink milk you will get calcium in our body so these all things are very important for our health and the body see these are the types of bones can you all see in the picture see first one is a flat bone small bone long bones and irregular bones okay irregular bones is what it comes in the stomach part okay flat bones then small bones that are there in the hand in the fingers okay long bones are there in the leg part understood children okay now okay when when you go for a doctor okay when you have an accident and when you go for a doctor see a skeletal system is the internal part okay the doctor cannot see it 
from the skin above the skin okay so for that thing when it is a fracture when it is a plaster what doctor tells us doctor tells us to take out a x ray do you all know what is x ray children what does the doctor say doctor says to take out a x ray if a bone is fractured if anything is being done for plastering part so what doctor does doctor doesn't understand from the above part okay above the skin part so what does he tell us he tell us to take out an x ray by that x ray you can understand easily the doctor can understand easily where the proper crack has been done but the exact crack has been done okay so what is an x ray an x ray image shows whether the bone is broken and also the exact spot the exact spot where it is broken okay so what does this x ray does x ray gives us a proper exact spot where it is broken where it is fracture where it is cracked okay this helps in providing a proper treatment to the patient so x rays were discovered by whom by wilhelm conrad rontgen okay who is the discovered discovery person of this x ray wilhelm conrad rontgen keep in mind children okay these two two to three things are there that you should keep in our mind so we have how many bones we have 206 bones right okay 206 bones see children this is the image of x ray can you see children each and every bone so, now take your hand like this keep your hand in front of your eyes see this is the x ray of the hand okay okay all students what you are going to do is you are going to uh, keep your hand in front of your eye and check whether how many bones are there can you touch your bone children see the same thing is there in the skin the uh, x ray part okay now if you have a fracture in your hand what will happen the x ray will show where it is proper fracture okay the bone crack will be shown in the x ray can you see in this image where is the crack can you see Can you see the X-ray, children? Miss, I have seen. Yes. Where is the crack? Can you tell me? Miss, here. In the wrist part. Okay. Where you wear a watch? In the wrist part. Can you see? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes. Very good. So you all understand what is X-ray. Okay. So. see by our naked eyes when skin is there we cannot see inside part of our hand of our hand right but when you see by the x ray you can see each and every bone of our hand right children so the x ray discovery was done okay now when you see a x ray of a fractured bone see children can you see this is a fractured bone can you see the crack yes or no see you can see the crack the bone has been cracked the bone has been uh, broken with two parts okay so that is called as a x ray part which the doctor can see it easily and he can give us proper treatment understood children yes or no now as in human body we have x ray in human body we have skeleton in animals also you have skeleton see children can you all see yes okay now can you identify the animal from the pictures of the skeleton now what you have to do dinosaur fish yes, very good yes and what is the next one the black part what is that snake you can see the skeleton of the snake and the first one is what see the first one what is this below dinosaur that is a horse okay what is that that is a horse so okay 
when you have the human skeleton we have the bird and animal skeleton also understood all, all of you all children understood yes teacher yes, no? yes. yes sir. so what we have learned today can you tell me yes children what you have learned today Yes. Who is going to give me the answer? In fracture, the bone is cracked in two parts, and uh, the yes. skeleton of various animals. And what is X-ray? Skeletal system do the skeletal system protects our body. That is the body cavity. Okay. Now, how many bones are there? I have told you, children. How many bones are there in our body? In the body. Yes. All students, you are going. How many bones are there? There are two hundred and six bones in our human body. Okay, understand of you? Yes. Now, you have to tell me what function does the specific organ do? Okay, I will tell you the uh, organ, and you are going to tell me what does the organ function? Okay. First, heart. What does heart? Mom, your voice is breaking. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you hear now properly? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What does the heart function? Tell me. Tell. Blood pumping. तो तो फंक्शनिंग फॉर ब्लड पंपिंग ओके अंडरस्टूड यूज ऑफ हार्ट ब्लड पंपिंग It comes from blood. It is impure or pure. Okay. Yes. After that, what does the brain do? What is the function of the brain? What is the function of the brain? Miss, your voice is breaking. The instant, instant. What do you think in a second? What is okay? See, now if I want to play, 
my body what what i will do it will give me the uh, order now you are going to play yeah voice is breaking okay आपके यहाँ पे शायद नेटवर्क का ये है वॉइस पूरा ब्रेक हो रहा है नेटवर्क पूरा नहीं है और माइक भी आपका नहीं दिख रहा है क्या हाँ अभी हाँ अभी ठीक है ओके 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 नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम हाँ हाँ अभी ओके ओके चिल्ड्रन नाउ व्हाट डज द ब्रेन डू व्हाट डज द ब्रेन डज द ब्रेन यूज आर कमांड ओके और ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट ऑफ अवर body right then what does the lungs do yes can anyone tell what does the lungs do lungs is for what respiration process okay respiration system is been uh, 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 functioned by the lungs understood then we have intestine how many intestines are there children yes Can anyone give me the answer? How many intestines are there? We have two intestines. There are two intestines. Yes. Large is uh, large intestine and small intestine. Yes, very good. So, what does this intestine do? This intestine digests our food, okay, and the nutritional part of our body. So, I hope you all have understood, okay, what I have taught you today. tomorrow we are going to see the further part of our chapter okay now after that what is what can you tell about uh, fractured bone yes miss can fracture. anyone tell me what is the fractured bone fractured bone yes. is that bone that crack in two parts and we have plaster yes crack in two part yes in uh, in the leg also we have fracture we we can have fracture in our hands also in our uh, back part also spinal cord part also when you fall down okay so we have fractured bones in the uh, internal parts also okay for that when you have fractured bone in the internal organ how can you see how the doctor can understand you have fractured bone by what from x ray by what can you see by what can the doctor see x ray by x ray yes okay so what does the doctor yes what does the doctor say the doctor say yes to take out the x ray of the uh, accident part okay yes understood all of you so this much is there for today's part we have understood about skeletal system okay of our body tomorrow we are going to see the next part of the of the chapter okay any doubt any child is having no me what you have not understand okay okay so for your homework Can I give you homework? Yes, for your homework, what you are going to write? You are going to write the functions of the organ. Okay, writing a notebook. Take a notebook, all of you. In the notebook, write all of you. You have to write the homework. Okay, what are the uh, particular organ functions? Okay. name of the organ make two columns name of the organ and the next column will be functions of the organ okay i have explained you down so you are going to write it so i i will be checking it tomorrow name of the organ first one is heart h e a r t heart you are going to write the function of the heart what does the heart function okay second one lungs l u n g s lung l u n g s lung third one is 
इंटेस्टाइन थर्ड वन इज इंटेस्टाइन एंड द फोर्थ वन इज ब्रेन बी आर ए आई एन बी आर ए आई एन ओके सो यू आर गोइंग टू राइट द आंसर्स फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन नेम ऑफ द ऑर्गन एंड वॉट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस ऑर्गन ओके these all functions are the internal organs of our body understood is that clear everyone yes okay any one student is having any doubt you can ask me the question which we have not understood no doubt very good no doubt okay great great you have understood all the part what i have taught you okay yes okay end karu have you all written yes yes okay 